the Port Kembla Coal Terminal in New South Wales, Australia. In continuous operation for nearly 120 years, it is one of the largest coal exporting facilities in the entire country. The terminal has the capacity to process and export upwards of 10 million tonnes of coal annually. Liberty Industrial was engaged to undertake the demolition and removal of two redundant coal handling machines to make way for new machinery. The relocation and explosive demolition of a 1,250 tonne bucket wheel reclaimer and the dismantling of a 400 tonne coal stacker from within the fully operational coal stockyard. The reclaimer straddled a live conveyor line and had to be relocated to an area where the demolition could occur without any structural and operational impacts to live assets. Liberty Industrial, known for its innovative deconstruction methods, is one of the few companies with the expertise to handle this delicate operation. Extensive planning and coordination were crucial to the successful completion of the works without significant disruption to the terminal's operations. Normally, for a demolition of this nature, a complete shutdown of key operational assets such as coal conveyors, bunkers and shiploaders would have been required. However, Liberty Industrial's advanced demolition methodologies enabled all preparatory works to be carried out without disruption to PKCT's operations, keeping actual shutdowns to a minimum. In April 2017, Liberty Industrial began the intricately planned step-by-step -step process of relocating and demolishing the 1,250-tonne reclaimer. First, four mobile cranes, ranging from 20-tonne Frana to 55-tonne all-terrain, separated and extracted the impact table from underneath the machine. It was extremely important not to cause any damage to the live conveyor belt. Then, a custom towing arrangement was constructed to pull the 1,250-tonne reclaimer 100 metres away from its position within the operational stockyard. This arrangement consisted of two 30-tonne hydraulic winches, control engineered to pull the reclaimer in total synchronisation. Once relocated to a temporary position outside the stockyards, the reclaimer underwent further modifications in preparation for its next relocation, this time using remote-controlled self-propelled modular trailers, or SPMTs. This preparation included removing components to reduce its gross weight and strengthening the structure in certain key areas. In order to secure the machine to the SPMTs during transport, a special purpose 40-ton pickup and transport steel frame was fabricated and mounted on the bed of the SPMT trailers. Once transported to its final position, the reclaimer was carefully lowered to the ground and secured. Members of Liberty Industrial's explosive demolition team then prepared the machine with explosive cutting charges, pre-weakening the structure at strategic locations. Finally, explosive engineers put the charges in place. After the safe and successful blast, 70-tonne and 36-tonne excavators fitted with shear attachments processed the structure for removal and recycling off-site. Next, it was time to tackle the 400-tonne coal stacker. Relocating the machine was this time not an option due to the configuration of the site. Hence, Liberty Industrial's engineers devised a methodology for dismantling the structure in situ using a 600-tonne crawler crane with minimal disruption to the terminal's operations. They conducted lift studies along with structural engineering assessments of the lifts. Then they removed specific equipment from the stacker to reduce the gross weight and adjust the center of gravity. Finally, they added structural supports where needed to ensure the stability of each lift. The structure was progressively dismantled with some sections weighing up to 140 tons. Upon completion of each lift, the dismantled sections were downsized at ground level using a combination of oxy cutting and mechanical shearing. The process materials were then removed from site for recycling. The project also involved the salvage of a range of components to be retained as spare parts for machines still in operation within the terminal. Salvage was undertaken before demolition to minimise any damage to the items of equipment. An incredible 99% of demolition material was recycled, with only 1% of material going to landfill. 12,760 hours of work were safely completed on the project without a single lost time or medical treatment injury or environmental incident. Achieving minimal disruption to Port Kembla Coal Terminal's operations was critical to the project's success. 
Following the safe and successful demolition of the stacker and reclaimer, Liberty Industrial have been engaged to undertake further demolition work at the terminal. Liberty Industrial will dismantle another two stackers and another reclaimer, following the commissioning of new coal handling infrastructure at the terminal.